was in the sixth grade, I think, and there was a, a pawn shop down on Broadway in Albany. And I saw this white electric guitar hanging in the window. And I was just like, oh, I gotta have that. So every week with my allowance, I would just keep paying on another $2, another $3 until I got that bad boy home. Like the first thing I picked was Batman. I would hold the G on the bottom. And I'd play it for everybody when they would come over. Please, come play Batman, you know? <laughs> so that kicked off my music career. I was in a band called The Tape when I was about 20, something like that. And there was a young lady who was a friend of the band. And one day she brought her friend Nile Rogers. And Niall fell in love with the band. And then he was inviting me to come down and sing on tracks and play on stuff. And he was recording the Thompson Twins. And Niall was playing all over their album. And so they were wondering like, well, how are we gonna reproduce this live? Because no one sounded like Nile Rogers, you know? And Niall said, we should can play exactly like this. And they were like, oh, really? So. Then next thing you know, I was like in their band and, and we did Live Aid, which was my first like big gig. Now I was producing Madonna and he was producing Al Jarreau. Like this is how I met all these people through, through Nile Rogers. He, he was so generous. That, that's what jump started my whole really professional career. Was thanks to Nile Rogers. Thank you, brother. <laughs> when I first joined the, the Letterman Band with Paul, I remember him saying to me, you know, I'm a musician, I'm a keyboard player. The, the TV show just happens to be my gig. And then it, it, like, it went ding, it was very clear to me, he's not this television, per he's not any different. He's a musician, like just all the cats I already knew. Those are my best times I can think of being in that band, it's just the laughing, the jokes, you know, just, being in a good mood all the time. You know, the music, of course, was like, Psh, up here, up here. And they, you know, each one of them would blow me away. Awesome, they could play anything. At a moment's notice. Always, I used to tell people that this job, I could go to work with a toothache and be in a great mood. And then you'd meet Tom Hanks or LL Cool J or whoever. And then you jam for an hour, and then you put your guitars away and go to dinner with your friends. But I think what kept me from just fading into obscurity, something unexpected happened where I got a call from a, a director who was directing a play off Broadway called uh, Marie and Rosetta. And it was about Sister Rosetta Tharp. And I had just started getting wind of her right about when I got that phone call, so I thought that was an odd coincidence. And, um, you know, he enlisted me to be, be in that show. It was just an awesome experience. It was so different from anything that I'd ever done. But it was right on time because it really brought me out of that depression and just let me know that the world was still kind of wide open. 